Hey folks, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to have a quick recap of balanced and unbalanced forces and this is something you would have done at National 5 level. So let's get started. So it says here that balanced forces occur when the forces acting on an object are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So to visualise this, here's an example. In the case below, two forces of the same magnitude, which is 10 newtons, act on the object but in opposite directions. So you've got 10 newtons this way and 10 newtons this way. The resultant force is therefore 10 newtons minus 10 newtons which equals 0 newtons, i.e. the two forces which are acting in opposite directions cancel out because they are equal in size. So in this case the object would stay where it is or it would continue to travel at a constant speed if it was already moving. Unbalanced forces on the other hand occur when the forces acting on an object are different in magnitude but opposite in direction. Here's another example to put this into context. So in the case below, two forces of different magnitudes, so 10 newtons to the left and 5 newtons to the right, act on the object but in opposite directions. The resultant force is therefore the 10 to the left minus the 5 to the right, which gives us 5 newtons to the left. And remember another phrase for resultant force is the unbalanced force, so this would give an unbalanced force of 5 newtons to the left. And that means that the object in this case would start accelerating to the left. To visualise this a bit more, here's a simulation. And it's a simple tug of war here. So if we've got one man to the left and one man to the right exerting the exact same force, then the vehicle here is not going to go anywhere. Say we were to add on one man to the right, then this means that the vehicle is going to start moving to the right because we've now got more force acting to the right. Or, if I was to add one to the left, it would do the same thing, but this time to the left. And then if we wanted it to move to the right again, we could apply more men that side. So in this case we've got balanced forces, but then when we make the sides different in magnitude by adding men on, then that means that it's going to be an unbalanced force. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Whoa!